guys, so today I'm here with my April favorites. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but I haven't put up a video in a few days. Uh, typically I'm on top of my game and uploading often, uh, but I've been pretty sick. If you've been following me on Twitter, you know, I, I thought I had strep throat. I don't know what it was. I had like a fever, um, but now it's like developed into a cold. I've had it for the past five days. I'm probably going to cough a few times uh, throughout this video. But yeah, so um, I'm back. I'm filming my April favorites. I kind of wanted to put this up a little later anyway because I know like the day May 1st comes around, there's like a wave of April favorites videos. Uh, so yeah, I don't have a lot of favorites. Like I said, I didn't really experiment with a lot of stuff this month. But nevertheless, I do have a few things I want to share with you. So the first thing is a brush. And I don't think I've ever included a brush in a favorites video before. But I really wanted to include this. I actually just got this like a couple like days ago. Not a couple days. Maybe like a week ago or something. But I really like it and I really wanted to include it. It's from the brand Raw Color, which I've never heard of before heard of before and it's their um, maximum coverage foundation brush and as you can see it's one of those like flat top ones like synthetic fiber duo whatever bristles um, but it's amazing I have the typical um, foundation brush that you just kind of like it's like flat if you know what I'm saying it's from Sonia Castro I got it at Target but um, this is awesome I got this from Circle Samples which is like fabulous and there's three like three brushes that came in the set it's awesome but I never applied foundation like this before so you know you're supposed to like stipple it on and then like blend it out and stuff it's just it works amazingly like my foundation has never looked so neat and nice on my face so I think it's all due to this brush um, it's amazing brush um, like I said, it came in a set of three, so um, if you guys would like a review, I would be more than happy to do one. Even if nobody requests a review, I'll probably do one just because I think this is an amazing brush. Plus, if you're signed up for Circle Samples, you have the opportunity to receive this and two others. But I love this. This applies amazing. I'll probably do a foundation routine as well, so love this. Uh, the next product, I'll do lip products. The next one I received in my April My Glam, I believe, and it's the Derm Store Lip Quench. Um, when I got this, I was like, awesome, a little uh, chapstick thing. But this is amazing. Like, it's not like a lip gloss. I mean, it kind of has like a pinkish uh, tint to it, but it's not like a lip gloss. It's just really moisturizing. Like, it feels really nice on your lips. And I really like this. I use this every day in the morning. I just spit a little bit. I'm sorry. I use this every day in the morning. I love it to death. I love it a lot. Um, I think it's an amazing product. Um, I know if you order from Derm Store, like, sometimes they give, like, free offers. And they did, do, like, give this as a free gift or whatever. If you ever get the chance and you see this as one of, like, the free gifts of the day, order something for, like, three bucks and you'll get this. It's, it's amazing. It's really small, but it's really nice. And then the last uh, lip product is my Napoleon Perdice lip gloss that I received from... Uh, circle samples. Um, I didn't know if I would like this. I don't typically wear lip gloss, uh, but I really like this. It's called Coral Island Lip Gloss Pineapple. I'm assuming pineapple is the name, but it's this really pretty um, light pink, um, nudish shade. The brush applicator is like a baby. Like it's so weird. You have to like put it in at least four times to get it all over your lips. Um, that's what she said. But um, it's amazing. It's really sticky. I Somebody commented last time I said that and said you like sticky lip glosses. I do like sticky lip glosses because I know they're on. Like I know when I need to reapply. Um, but I really like this. This is awesome. Again, circle samples. Hallelujah. It's pretty nice. Um, next I'll do face. For face, I have one product, and it's Girl Meets Pearl by Benefit. This is obviously a mini. This is, a, this is supposed to be a liquid pearl for, like, all over your face to give, like, a little bit of a, a glow, like a little bitty glow. But I really like using this as a highlighter. Um, I don't know what it is, but it just looks fabulous. I love the dewy look of it because it is spring now, and I love highlighting for spring, as you'll find out. Um, it's it's amazing product. If you can get this in one of like the little sample packets and get a few more of Benefit's products, I suggest it. I also suggest buying the full size, but um, that's up to you. It's not me buying it, so yeah. But um, I really like this a lot. Um, I think it's amazing. By the way, I probably sound ridiculous. My throat's been like cramping. It's like really awkward. Um, and then the last four products are eye products. Um, the first two are eyeliners. I love the colored eyeliner look. I think I mentioned this in like a last or a past favorites. Um, I have two blue liners that I like using because I have blue eyes and I feel like it kind of enhances that. Um, the first one is the NYX 
uh, slide on liner in azure which is like a really pretty kind of like teal blue and the other one is the Urban Decay 24-7 glide on pencil and radium which I received from my My Glam bag um, this is a little bit darker uh, but it's still really great um, they're still amazing colors it just depends on which one I grab honestly but I love them both they work the exact same so I'm just saying if you don't want to spend the money on the 24-7 get the NYX slide on because they're really great and then the last two products are for the eyes and they're highlighting. I really like highlighting my inner corner. Um, I never really wanted to, like, wanted to before. It's not highlighted now. Uh, but I kind of found like a little method that I've been doing that I really like. Um, I start off by using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. Everybody has seen this. It's just the white pencil. Um, I'll dot this on my eyes. I'll push it in, kind of blend it out a bit. And then I put um, like a lighter shadow on top of it because the NYX pencil helps it to stick. The one I've been using is this Maybelline. Um, shadow stylist in Elegant Pearl. Any drugstore light colored shadow will work. Um, I mean, I'm just going to go through this and then move on to like a CoverGirl one or something. But this is amazing. I put this all over. I blend it out a bit. Um, it's a really nice just light champagne color. And it really highlights the inner corners. And I really like doing that. I'm going to be doing a video on highlighting soon. So... Yeah, that's it for April Favorites. I know it wasn't a lot, nothing too exciting. I just kind of wanted to put my face back on YouTube because I haven't been there in a while and I kind of miss it. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling a lot better now. I'll start filming a little bit more. Um, it's May, so it's super hot outside, so it's wonderful. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.